mushroom and onions, raisins and extra hot pepperoni with sticky toffee and melty marshmallows and some pig stuff on top. Oh, right. That's mine too. And that one, and that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can share our pizza, Henry. Thanks. Could be worse. Right, what's next? What do you mean, Henry? Well, this can't be it. A bit of twirly dancing and eating a pizza. How about some proper music? Oh, the Killer Boy Rats. I love the Killer Boy Rats. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Who's your favourite? I like the one that plays the guitar. Oh, that'll be Frankie Fast Fingers. Oh, please. Everyone knows that Ziggy played guitar. At least he did on that album. <laughs> Sometimes. Then let's rock! Sleepover, Henry. Oh, it was okay. Okay? You mean you enjoyed it? What? No, it, it was really terrible. I knew it would be. Well, there's just one thing I don't understand, Ralph. What's that, Henry? Who put the invitation in my book in the first place? You mean you really can't guess? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was me! Come back here, you! It's so easy being me, I'm Hard Henry! <sighs> How much longer? Just one more lap! <sighs> one more! <sighs> Can't we rest? <sighs> I feel great! <laughs> so do I! I need something stronger. Oh, I've already made breakfast. You have? What's this? It's an all-in-one breakfast. Cereal, milk, tea, egg, toast and jam. All mixed up together. <sighs> Saves time. Come on now, eat up. Get a move on. You've got ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight. <sighs> Two minutes twenty. Not bad, but I think you can do better. Sorry, Henry. All ready to go, then. But it's only 5.45. I'll be way too early for work. Not if you walk. Walk? But it's miles. Walking's good for you. And it's good for the environment, too. Hmm. Think of all the petrol you'll save. It's quicker if you run. What? I was watching that. Me too. Haven't you read your timetable? 7.30 to 8, homework. But we haven't got any homework. What about that? Oh, yes. All those bills you're always saying you'll get round to. Oh, and don't forget that thank you letter you were going to write to Great Aunt Greta. <laughs> oh, yes. That too. In the dining room, please. Don't want you to be distracted, do we? <sighs> See? There's plenty of time to get everything done when you manage your time properly. <laughs> Have you seen my tie? 
Uh, uh, shall I lay the table? We've overslept. Henry, where are your trousers? Well, according to the timetable... Give me that timetable. No more stopwatches. No more time management. Let's just get on like we always do. It's so easy being me. I'm Yeah, it's me. Give. Enter. Which reminds me, you haven't paid me today. Yeah, OK. What am I paying you for again, Margaret? You're paying me so you can be my slave. Oh, yeah. Um... Susan, what is the lesson you have learned today? Yeah, um, you what? Oh, keep up, can't you? The lesson you have learned today is never forget who the real enemy is. Ah. Uh, who the real enemy is. Ah. Uh, uh, you what? The real enemy, Susan, are boys. <laughs> Let me tell you how it is, sister. No, Peter, I suppose it's not. Come on, lad. Let's finish off the job we started, shall we? Peter, this is man's work. Ooh, okay, Dad. Charge! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, then. 
spin around to take that corner. What a perfect day! I'm so glad I spent it with you, Dad. Find that branch. Oops, something. to tell Mum and Henry about today. Guess what, Henry? We went peat splodging and Dad fell in the mud and it was really funny. <laughs> really? Yes! Mum, where are you? Uh, fancy a mud pup, Dad? Mum, we're back! Hello, sweetie pie. Did you have a good day? Oh, yes! Such a perfect day! Did you have a good day, Mum? I had a great day, thank you, Pumpkin Pie. And I think Henry's saved a little surprise for you, too. Ooh, goody! I wonder what it could be. Fancy a mud pack? Ooh, yes, please, Henry. Mum's been telling me what a great day she's had. Good. At least someone has. I'm off for a bath. Paints, lodging and a mud pack, all in one day. What fun! Woohoo! It's so easy being me. I'm Hot Henry. Earn mine! Mine! All right then, have it your own way. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Francis don't get on very well, do they, Mum? You can say that again. Oh, go and give this to your dad. <sighs> <sighs> Sausages are ready! Anyone for a perfectly cooked sausage? No, thanks. Don't oh. Who's the gross class zero fan? I am. Oh, me too. Really? Oh, yes. I collected every single toy there was when I was a boy. That is so cool. Well, I say every single toy, but I really mean every single toy except the evil emperor. I never managed to get the evil emperor. That's funny, cos... Come on, who wants to climb a tree? Come on, Francis. I bet you want to climb a tree, don't you? Uh. Not really, thank you. Oh, don't be a scaredy cat. You're not scared, are you? No. I'm the best at climbing trees. Right, that's it. You've both made your point. You can come down now. So, who's the best at climbing trees? I am. To it, Francis. Oh, and uh, Francis. Yes. You know that uh, evil emperor toy you never managed to collect. Yes. Well, guess what? I've got one. <gasps> and you're never ever having it. Never ever ever in the whole wide world. <laughs> Doesn't bother me, silly Simon. Ugh, I hate it when he calls me that. It's so easy. I'm S-E-C-R-E-T Club, yeah! That's enough, Moody Margaret! The Purple Hand Gang fight back! Hooray! What are you doing here, traitor? 
she threatened to tell my mum that I was reading a gross Class Zero comic instead of doing my maths homework yesterday. What a mouldy old measle! One, two, three, four! Purple hand gangs beyond compare. Whenever you need us, we'll be there. Top level missions are what we do. Don't call us, we'll call you. I'm the leader, and if you forget, you'll walk the plank, no safety net. We're mean and murky, crazy and cruel. Chocolate biscuits are off you. Bubble Hang Gang beats the rest. P-U-R-P-L-E Hang Gang. Enemy ahoy! Hang on to your coat! Pull up the drawbridge! Fill the moat! We're under attack! I cheat your sword! There's never time for us to get bored. Purple is the colour, piracy's the game. You know the Purple Hang Gang is the name. Wherever we go, wherever we roam, the skull and crossbones, that's our home. Playing Dolly's biscuit eating, reading comic, enemy beating. We your own handbag. And when the going gets really rough, the Purple Hang Gang gets really tough. Alien invasion, pirate raid. Give us a call, we'll come to your aid. Secret Club is the best. Secret Club rules the nest. Purple Hang Gang is the best. Purple Hang Gang beats the rest. Secret Club is the best. Secret Club rules the nest. Purple Hang Gang is the best. Purple Hang Gang beats the rest. Our club is the best. Oh, 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 well done. Well done. Oh. Oh. Where's he gone? This is all your fault, Slugbreath. You stole my moment. Wait, I've got good news, Poppet. What? Well, uh, the famous producer, he say yes. He say yes what? He say yes, you are a superstar in the making. Yes! What's my first stage role going to be, then? Um... How about the Wicked Witch? <laughs> you what? Oh, yes, the Wicked Witch in Somewhere Over the Tornado. <gasps> I love that show. What do you think of that, Puppet? Don't call me Puppet! It's so easy being me, I'm Henry! Shout! Shout to the lady with the big baby! Shout to the man in the silly hat! And shout to the guy who thinks he's a famous movie star! But isn't that famous, really? Is it time yet, Peter? Patience, Gordon. It's nearly time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for our very last piece. And what am I made for this? <gasps> uh, ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Oh, is that 25? Who is that? No idea, but they want your happy hippo t-shirt and that's all that matters. Two thousand pounds! Ladies and gentlemen, the bidding has reached two thousand pounds! Have I bid two thousand and one pounds for this priceless t-shirt? Now. It's still a lot of money, Henry. Yep, and some of it's mine. What? Uh, modelling fees, refreshments, commission, expenses. Expenses? Is there an echo in here? Yeah, expenses. My dad had to buy all the chairs and he paid for all the pink stuff too. Don't worry, 
Henry. You've still got the money from the Happy Hippo T-shirt mystery bidder. Oh, yeah. Who was that, anyway? It was me! You! Yes! You were the mystery bidder? Yes! <laughs> I knew you'd never sell it to me, so I got Gordon to bid for it with his white flag. But where did you get the money from? I haven't got it. What? So, I'm going to pay you a deposit now, and then I'll pay you in instalments each month using my pocket money. It'll only take, ooh, ten years to pay it off. Ten years? Come on, Henry. It's better than nothing. Mm, I suppose so. Deal? Hmm, deal. But you can only wear it on Sundays till you've paid the whole lot. <laughs> 